Welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. When we left off last time, we saw Johnny and Ripper's awkward first date at the movie theater. Now we're a little fit just before that, and we saw Johnny ask her out for the first time. Here we are in his high school days. So let's get right in here and get our three remaining memory links. All right, what do we got over here? Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. <laughs> is this some kind of slime? What is that, Johnny? Why do we have to draw stupid barrels anyway? This is an attempt at a barrel. Why does it have a face? All right, art instructor. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Of course. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. Wishful thinking, teacher. Wishful thinking. All right, nothing more in that room. This isn't actually a room. Hmm, that is, but... Well, let's see what we can find this way first. Go all the way down. Hmm. Locked. Cafeteria, only open during lunch hours. All right, what's here? Ah, there we go. Psst, she's coming this way. Alt-tab, alt-tab. We've got a note about the alt-tab. Lifesaver. All right, just a second. Wait, what'd you say? I clicked too fast. Not right click. No, still alt tab. Okay, thought I saw something else. Uh, regardless, no memory links in this room, so moving on. Let's check out this next room. Anyone? Anyone at all? Nope. All right then. River, why don't you answer it? Oh, that's the worst. I know you know the answer. It doesn't mean she wants to say it in front of everybody. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the near age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Well, and you know, you were kind of rude about it, too. Way to single her out. But see, was that so hard? What a condescending jerk thing to say. For some people, it is that hard. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. Do we have any mementos here? Nope. Or not memento, memory link. Well, let's go ahead and check out this room then. Gym class. That's a wrap. You chumps better be um, better next time. Way to motivate them. An atrium. We could use this place later. Mm, for what? I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> oh, a piano. Hey. Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah. Oh, where are y'all running off to? Is it lunchtime? It is. Oh, there's Johnny. What's up, Johnny? Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. Wow. I mean, just look at her. What about her? She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. 
What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Nicholas, you're in high school and you don't know what a platypus is? Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Um, uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Uh, how so? Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. Then stand out on your own, Johnny. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? Exactly. I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. Yeah, you'd just be glomming onto her to try and... A what? Be unique by association? Come on, Johnny. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Now that is an excellent question. But beyond that, being strange isn't a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. Maybe she doesn't want someone trying to be her friend just because she's unique. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. Ooh, Johnny was kind of a jerk when he was young. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold. No, nope, that, that's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Well, I mean, I guess he did stay with her the rest of his life, and they genuinely seemed to care about each other when they got older. This must be that thing that Isabel told him he needed to tell her, that these were his intentions at the start. Is it really better for him to be honest about that, or would that have been something just better kept to himself? I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. That we're all special snowflakes. Wait, so this guy's some kind of a human-hogging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. Yes, it is. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. This is true. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? And no wonder she was so upset. And remember, after that, she started up all the rabbit stuff. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. So, yeah, maybe it would have been better if he'd just kept it to himself instead of telling her this and disturbing her so much. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. Well, she's not really holding a grudge if she just found out. He knew for a long time she didn't. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. It is, because we saw the little magnifying glass icon. Should I even... No need, I'm all good now. Oh. Duh, we're missing one. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Oh my goodness, go up here. There we go. Let's check out River. Oh, yeah, platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. All 
right, let's get to the next memory. Kame. Oh, oh, is he doing it? Oh, for walnut's sake. Yes, Kame. Hey. Not cool, Ava. You messed up our Kamehameha. <laughs> Yeah, don't mess with the Kamehameha, Ava. What? Okay, should take six clicks. All right. Just go for it. Don't stress about it. It'll work out one way or another. It's not looking very promising. All right. Um, yeah. I don't know what I was hoping for with this. Okay, so kind of. Oh, yep, there we go. All right. Ten clicks. Should have been six. Whatever. Younger and younger. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. Joey. That's so weird. My baby boy growing up so fast. Ack, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. But it still wouldn't make sense. Name him Joey if you want to call him Joey. And if it was a girl, you name her Josephine. Joey, Jewy, Jewy, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes, so jealous. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. I don't know, his couch, is that what it is? It's a very memorable couch for him. <laughs> oh, blah, not again. Oh, a glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. <laughs> Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Let's go up first. To the bookcase. Various books with smudge titles. Down this way. Ooh, we are almost ready to go back already. The soccer ball. Make sure there's nothing to click in here. Okay. this together okay uh, do, uh. man I'm so bad at these gonna do it at all. Uh, all right, all right. Well, we got there eventually. All right, okay. Next memory. Oh, 
uh, next memory, guys. Ack, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Ava? Man, what's going on here? What the hell is that? Oh. What's going on here, guys? Looks ominous. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Lapida on us? Lapida? I don't know that reference. I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. All right, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Ooh, Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Yeah, it's gotta be weird for these two. Just hanging out, no clue what we're doing here. Hoping it's going well. Really, how would they have any way of knowing if we actually were able to instill the memories with him or not? It's not like they can verify with him. He's comatose. I think I didn't explicitly say he's not talking to anybody. And that's all this old fool knows. Heh, sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Aye, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Well, yeah, that's the premise of how we're going to make you remember going to the moon. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? Good point, Johnny. That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you... You are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to repair this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. Aha! So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Oh, all business. She's out of there. Doctor, is that 
what I truly am. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's all he is, but still. Just leave him hanging. Don't even answer. I guess they will just reset him or whatever, and he won't even remember, but still. Ah, all of our night's work. Oh, here's all our memory links and everything else. Or is this just mementos? Oh. Mementos. No, that's the platypus. Yeah, mementos, because there's that lovely roadkill bunny. <laughs> Neil, what is going on? <laughs> what the? <laughs> At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is to pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. All right, and we will do that next time. We're going to go ahead and stop for the night. Remember to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you around next time.